And we've been wait, talking wait a about this for they're, the last... They're, la they're launching a billion dollar Lord of the Rings TV series set in Middle Earth. And all their writers, they just let them all go? That's right. The, that, that, wait, uh, uh, what? Nerdgerotic.com. Lord of the Rings is one of my favorite things of all time, and that's why I have promised to dedicate my entire channel to the destruction of Amazon if they screw it up, and it looks like that might be happening. Now, I love Lord of the Rings. I can listen to the BBC radio series over and over again. I can listen to Robert Inglis read me The Council of Elrond a hundred times in a day, and I wouldn't get tired of it. Peter Jackson's films are masterpieces. It's the greatest trilogy of all time. And yes, I can watch all 12 of the Return of the King's endings without getting tired of it. So that's why I remained hopeful that Lord of the Rings at Amazon would be good. But apparently, I am just a naive fool. And considering I've seen the complete destruction of Game of Thrones, the complete collapse of Disney Star Wars, the complete destruction of Star Trek Picard in the hands of Alex Kurtzman, and I just witnessed Chris Chibnall obliterate Doctor Who's entire mythos in one episode. Can we just have one thing work out? I think it's not too much to ask, but apparently it is. Now, before I get started, if you like what I do here, please consider subscribing to the channel and liking and sharing the videos. It really does help. Thank you to all who have subscribed, and I thank you for your continued support. Now, this news comes to us from the OneRing.net, and it's not really news at this point. It's a rumor, so please take it with a grain of salt, but this is a pretty good source. That's a website I have been going to for quite some time, way back when. Yeah, I'll let you set up this game uh, for a couple minutes, and I'll give you all the headlines as we've heard them. The latest and greatest from Amazon Lord of the Rings. Uh, the Headlines. brief update is we've got a billion dollar Lord of the Rings TV series in production right now. There's a cast and crew of hundreds uh, gallivanting all over Auckland, New Zealand and areas filming uh, various things in the forests, in the fields, in the meadows, on sound stages, in the water. Huge set pieces like we haven't seen since Titanic. It comes in Giant heights. water tanks. There's going to be the, the, the opening episode one, which they are filming right now, is going to have a huge underwater water battle scene. We haven't seen any ships, but there's, there's dunk tanks and there's so much going on. That to me sounds like the destruction of Numenor, which would be really cool if we see it, but it looks like we might not. In this live stream, they drop a bomb. Now, I want to preface this again, and they state this in the live stream as well, which I will link in the description, that this is a rumor. Take it with a grain of salt. They have heard this from multiple sources, and sometimes we tend to get things right here on the internet. I reported on a rumor about Doctor Who a couple of months ago that turned out to be spot on last Sunday. I reported that they would be retconning the 56-year history of Doctor Who to make the Doctor originally a female. So there's that. We hear a lot of whispers on the air, and we don't report on everything because uh, well, you know we can't validate everything. And that's when they drop this like bomb. That. Amazon and, and has let go of the entire writer's room for Lord of the Rings. What? But everyone's gone. I have looked everywhere for verification on this, and I couldn't find it anywhere. But I have little reason to doubt these guys. They have been covering Lord of the Rings for a long time. I have been going to this website for a long time, so I don't think they would just go out and spout this. Now, I can't believe more people haven't talked about it, but it's probably because we haven't seen it in Deadline and The Hollywood Reporter. So again, take it as a rumor, but there is some circumstantial evidence out there. And remember, these are writers from Better Call Saul, Breaking Bad, and Fringe. Lord of the Rings. What? But everyone's gone. They're... What? Plan, their plan is to bring in a whole new writing team Are you for season two. Freaking kidding me? Right now, Are as you we speak me? today, as they film this, season one is on hiatus. After I did a little homework on this one, it might not be that surprising, and this might not be bad news. They are not filming season one, they are filming a, a, a pilot. That, ha that, that may or may not... I thought they were not, filming maybe two episodes. Maybe two episodes, we had reported but they're, the, maybe but they're one? not shooting season one. It's officially on hiatus. The writing team for season one has let go, and Amazon is actively looking for new writers to join a brand new 
writing wow. room for season They've two. They've let the writers go. Now, forgive me, I'm in my Doctor Who garb because I was in the middle of recording a Doctor Who video when I decided to make a video on this because nobody really has. Now, my good friend Josiah Rises has done a video on this. I'll link it in the description. And that's how I found out about it when people were chirping in on one of my live streams that this had happened and I couldn't believe it. And again, I looked around and I couldn't find anything. But there is a little bit of circumstantial evidence on Twitter. Here's the thing is that we're finding it out now that whatever has happened with the scripts for season one of Lord of the Rings... The, the, those scripts are in uh, cold storage. The season one is on hiatus. And as far as we've heard, it's an entire, they're looking for an entire new writing team for season two. This explains, perhaps, the reason why one of the lead writers on the series was on Twitter two, two weeks ago or something like that, begging for a job with a video game adaptation. When, when well, we were not begging, there were, there were, there, but, the, the, but actually these... playfully saying, hire me, guys. This is not a smoking gun, but this brings us to the Twitter account of Jennifer Hutchinson, and I've noticed she hasn't tweeted anything in the last two days. Her last tweet was March 5th. She hasn't tweeted much of anything about Lord of the Rings. Now, she might be under an NDA, but she could tweet that, hey, I'm having a lot of fun writing on Lord of the Rings, or I'm in New Zealand writing on Lord of the Rings. And it doesn't look like she's in New Zealand. She's been tweeting quite a bit prior to March 5th. Now, there's a little politics here and there, but it's nothing bad. But I don't see anything about Lord of the Rings. Now, she did tweet she was hired, and according to Cliff and Justin, all the writers were hired for a five-year commitment. She has written for Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad, two brilliant shows. But sometimes writers from brilliant shows go to different genres, and it doesn't work out. Rianne Johnson did some brilliant work on Breaking Bad. Didn't turn out so well for The Last Jedi, though, did it? I don't mean well, that. I, I mean, like, playfully saying. I think uh, she was like, yeah, hey, you know, I, she, she actually was on Twitter saying when, when we assumed she was on a five season commitment. Right. Then all of a sudden, one of their lead writers from Lord of the Rings is on Twitter saying, hmm. I got time I'd love to, work to work on something. I, I'd love to go work on something else. That'd be great. Now, I looked for this tweet on Jennifer Hutchinson's account, and I couldn't find it. Now, I didn't take that much time, so it might be there, it might be deleted, or it might be one of the other writers. But if you look at but this is shocking. any of the writers that this have is, social media, this is you shocking. Know, while they were writing Lord of the Rings, very they shocking. were obviously very off of Twitter. They weren't posting anything, but a lot of them have had a ton of time in the last three months, and they're on Twitter every day, you know, 10 posts every day. Now, depending on your perspective on this, this may be good news or it may be bad news. And this isn't the first time this has happened with the TV show. And I'll go into that a little later in the video. But the worst news is yet to come. Because if this person is indeed gone, then I'm gone off this series. And there's no hope that it will be good. Apparently, they got rid of Tom Shippey, too. And but Cliff, that's not the all, exhibit, that's not the only bad news. Not only are the writers gone, why is this Shippy is officially off the project? What happened? Where? What? This is a very unique deal that Amazon has with the Tolkien estate. They have to abide by its canon. They cannot screw with anything from any of Tolkien's original work. They can't change a single damn thing. And the person who was the overlord of that was Tom Shippey. He is a Tolkien scholar. If he's gone, then I'm sorry to say this series is probably gone. What have you been hearing? He's gone. He's, all, he's done with the project. Tolkien scholar who wrote author of the century... Tom Shippey, yes. universally embraced and uh, uh, admired Tolkien scholar. Yeah. He, he was the anchor, the rock that, that, uh, that comforted fans. And, and when his, they his, announced the show, they said, you his, know what, as long as they've got Shippey and John Howe, we're in good hands. All the fans Those have hands been saying that. Those hands are gone. I was actually very excited when I heard that Amazon was picking up Lord of the Rings. Considering how much money they spent, it showed me that they were willing to put the time and the effort into this thing. Until I saw who the showrunners were. Until I saw who the writers were. 
And this is one of the biggest problems we have with our franchises today. Doctor Who has been brought down by soap opera writers. And the same goes for Star Trek Discovery and Star Trek Picard. And we know what the writer's room did, or the story group they were called, at Disney Star Wars. And we know that maybe the people at HBO should have done to Game of Thrones what they're doing now with Lord of the Rings by getting rid of Dan and Dave, maybe around seasons four and five, getting somebody in who could go beyond adapting George R. R. Martin's work, and maybe the series would still be going. We know that HBO and George wanted it to continue, and it was Dan and Dave, but that's a video for another day. Again, we had a writing staff on the surface that looked pretty damn good. They had written for Better Call Saul, Breaking Bad, The Sopranos, ER, Halt and Catch Fire, Stranger Things, and Fringe, but... We're writing high fantasy here, and not everyone can do that. Maybe these weren't the right writers for this job, and I'm okay with them firing the entire staff and taking their time. I'm not okay with them getting rid of Shippy, and I'm not okay with one of the things a lot of the people on that video I just showed you had it in common bad robot yes the same bad robot or bad reboot that is the destroyer of franchises the same bad reboot that was behind disney star wars and star trek and they are connected to the showrunners and the showrunners john d Payne and patrick mckay have zero experience they have one shared credit uncredited script work on star trek beyond that's it now, it's not unheard of that a show would fire its entire writing staff or its head writer and survive. Walking Dead did this, Westworld did this, Game of Thrones did this. It's gonna be very hard to find writers willing to give five years of their life to a show, but this would be worth it. And if I was Jeff Bezos, I would think long and hard and maybe take this opportunity to find some new showrunners. Jeff, buddy, take your time. We want this to be right. You will not want to deal with pissed off Lord of the Rings fans. Just ask Disney Star Wars. Just ask the BBC how they're loving the criticism they're getting from Doctor Who fans right now. That'll be my next video. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention that there's something going around right now that might affect the production. Now I can't say it here on YouTube due to the algorithm, but I'm sure you can guess. Let's hope they take their time. Let's hope this is the greatest show of all time. And let's hope that the passing of the late, great Christopher Tolkien didn't have anything to do with this. I will keep you all updated. Rehire Tom Shippey, Jeff Bezos. If you like what you heard, please like, share, and subscribe. If you didn't like what you heard, thank you for listening this long. I'll see you in the next video.